West, back down here at the creek. Um, I was catching a few bait fish, but it's not the best use of my time. Went in through some dog food in this uh, minnow trap, crawdad trap. I'm just gonna put it out there and let it do the work for me while I take what I got and I'm going in go fish. This is Wes says, got me a fire going. I have a, uh, this is a metal coffee can, number 10 can would work fine. Doesn't matter what was in the can, but, and I know this works, done it several times. I'm gonna boil water in this, I'm gonna put some crawdads in there. This is as bare as it gets. There's no wadobo, there's no Mrs. Dash, there's no salt, no pepper. This is me eating some crawdads because I'm hungry. If there's paper on the outside of your can, don't worry about it. Put it on the fire. If it's plastic, please take it with you. There are mulberries laying all over the ground right here too. Okay, somebody's wondering, I'm down here at the river. Supposed to be fishing, but I'm gonna eat crawdad instead. Mud bug get her outers. I bushcraft did something. That is boiling. Mud bug down. We'll start with 10. I only got 20 more in here. I'll bring y'all back for the getting out. Forgot to record it, but went over there and bushcrafted me a plate. And some pot holders. Some of the pot holders. Yeah, they're sticks. Put it. Push quickly. My 
I'd have bolted them too long. Oh well, well, these things happen. Sold off, too. That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all act like I'm raw painless and not care. Hey, 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 raw dad. And this is just appetizers. Oh, it's human. Probably sitting on a snake den. Yeah, exactly. Look and oh ho ho ho. I guess you could get them fresher than this. Some people won't eat them unless they put them in a bathtub all night. And uh, let them flush themselves out. Ah, hold on. I'll hand him. Not that tickler. Oh. <laughs> if you don't put that anything on them, for those of you that don't know. If you don't put anything, anything on your crawdad, it tastes like crawdad. Y'all want to know something else about a crawdad? Crawdad meat sweet, almost like they got sugar. In them. I don't know why people put. Them. Well, I mean, I like them with the red seasoning or whatever, but and I like them like this too. And taste. Go get y'all. Mm. I mean, it tastes like. I mean, it tastes like I cooked them in butter, and I did. Sometimes there's just no explaining the fail of labor. But everybody's got so used to doing whatever they tell you to do with them at the restaurants or whatever. Oh, that, oh that's not how you eat a crayfish. Well, it's America. You can eat crayfish any way you want to. Well, I guess you eat them raw if you wanted to. I mean, not the way to drum like them. Uh, there's some big old drum down there at the mouth of the creek. So some of these guys are going to go on a on that big old fishing pole I got from T-Bore. And uh, we're going to we're gonna see if we can. I mean, that that drum down there, that drum will go 15, 20 pounds. So, ah, it's not how you eat them; it's whether or not you do eat them. This is my lunch. What y'all have for lunch? Chick-fil-A or something? 
Burger King. Pizza. Tony. Jack in the box. Water burger. Hmm. What y'all have? Out. Anybody know why they put crawdads on the Chinese buffet? I'm asking for a friend. I don't care. I'm just curious. Don't make somebody know. Well, it's my crawdad. Seen a crawdad claw down at the creek today that could have belonged to, a, I mean, a decent sized lobster. So maybe there's some mutant ones in here. Maybe. Look at that. These big males that got when you meet in these claws. I mean, it's a pain in the butt, but I ain't doing nothing now. Did I mention it's sweet? I'm going to boil the rest of my car dads, eat them, and go fish. Y'all find something to do. Tell off. Don't die. These are good. I'm just caught car dads in hot water. Try it one time. And let me know what you think. I'm gonna try to show y'all this. This is a big one. Just crawl that. Take the one that moves. And don't go crazy. Just get it loose. And then just pull straight out. And those two little flip, uh, fly bones or whatever will come with them. And then you bite to where. Your teeth, top teeth go here, or top teeth go here, and your bottom teeth go here. Just, just not to crack it. You pop it open. In case y'all wondering why I'm holding on to this thing. Convenient tool. The other, did the other claw and it went off without a hitch and I said, oh, you ought to put that on film. Okay, anyway, pop it open. Take your other side of your claw. There you go. Claw meat. Nearly as much in it. Well, these two claws made up a whole other uh, crawdad tail. That was worth it. Thirty-one crawfish later. I need a nap, but instead I'm gonna go fishing because that's what I'm here to do. It's only eighty. I'm in the shade. There's a breeze. It's humid, but it's not unbearable. So, yeah, as long as I can stay out of the sun, we'll stay down here at the river. Which is flowing really good today. Going by a cooler. Five dollars. You just gotta go get it. It's a little beat up. 